What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we are diving into some more of the Much Music performance from Silverchair. I've really enjoyed the songs we've done off of this so far. It's been a fantastic performance. Their vibe is awesome. Nice breakdown kind of essence with some soft parts, unusual chords, the grunge feeling as well. Faster, upbeat, punk rock kind of feeling inside of some of the songs. So, I'm loving their vibe. They're very diverse so far with the songs we've done. I really am liking their vibe. And like I said, those unusual guitar chords always throw me for a loop. So I really appreciate their style. If you're new here, please subscribe. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, stage performance, instrumentations, all that great jazz. And it's just a nice way for everyone to wind down or begin their day. So I'm glad that y'all are here. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys dearly. So we're going to dive into this on Because of Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Silver Chair Madman live at Much Music. <laughs> I don't mean to like immediately pause, but this right here is like classic thrash metal, like the beginnings of thrash metal right here. That really raw, super fast punk influenced riffing style that thrash metal had whenever it first started before it evolved into more technical aspects involved with it as well. When it first started, it was heavily punk influenced with super metal style vocals inside of it very like socially driven as well right lots of social songs when it comes to the beginning of thrash metal man i like the vibe of this right here this is different already Switch into that nice tom work and break down -y section there. Kind of reminds me of early machine head with that fucking chuggy section there in the toms. Early machine head kind of essence on that break down -y section there. I really fuck with this. <laughs> two different versions of this there's one that's an instrumental and then they recorded a separate one that actually had vocals on it for this live they did the one without the vocals so since this is just an instrumental we're gonna let it walk us into the door on the fucking playlist so i'm gonna pull the lyrics up to the door real quick because we're gonna do that we'll do a double in this since we've got an instrumental here and this jam is awesome i'm enjoying this Right there, that's what those are called. 
called octave chords. It's basically a power chord with the middle note left out. There's only two instead of three notes. That's based, that's what an octave chord is. You play it with two fingers and mute the middle string and don't play it instead of playing the full power chord. Very beautiful sounding chords and very useful for filling in the underneath rhythm section on a guitar. Love it. <laughs> I love this jam. That was an awesome jam right there. So now, let me pull these up real quick. We are going to get into the door. That is the next song on the playlist. I liked this jam a whole lot. This was a fucking awesome jam. Lots of thrash metal kind of influence in there and the breakdown of Tom section reminiscent of that really old school machine head like Let Freedom Rain with the shotgun blast. Fucking dope right there, if you know that song, right? <laughs> I hope y'all know that song. If you've never heard that song, man, you gotta go fucking listen to some Machine Head, early Machine Head, man, for real. You guys will fucking love early Machine Head if you've never <laughs> checked that out. And their new stuff is great as well, still, as well. They still put out awesome fucking music. They've really stood the test of time. But Silverchair here, man, throwing a lot of different influences, old school influences, like I said, old school thrashy influences, and nice octave chords towards the end of there. Very beautiful instrumental piece right here. So we're going to get into the door now. I'm going to flip this right here. Skip. Perfect. He has such a diverse voice, like he can carry it in any way he wants, clean, and then like that clean with a little rasp added, the held out notes, he can yell, scream, growl, all of it, he can even make funny noises, we've gotten funny noises as well, really crazy fry kind of screams that just sound like the throat's ripping apart, man, the fucking vocals are something. <laughs> techniques that they implement in all of their music and it's crazy because it's so modernized inside of what they did with it but you can hear that influence of the blues and the classic rock inside of the basic structure of this guitar riff right here with those high notes accenting the chords during this verse slash pre-chorus section that they have going on here it's a pre-chorus section is what it is could have been like before, could have had to lock the door, make your mind, let the door, let the door swing, only one, only one to let the door, mm. only one to let the door, wanted to pretend he's dead, 
didn't have to pretend. Oh boy. <laughs> like he really just kind of gets in this pocket a lot of the time where he's not saying much he's leaving it very open for you to decide what you let it mean but then he'll throw something in like this very small that lets you know exactly what essence of the song lyrics are sitting inside he said all this and more makes no sense to me all this and more makes me drown so now we have confusion and weight as the energy of the song, right? Confusion and lack of breath, weight, right? So now we could have had to lock the door and it could have been like before, right? Make your mind to let the door swing, only one to let the door. Wanted to pretend he's dead, didn't have to pretend. Man, cryptic, right? I love cryptic writing. Sometimes they get into really cryptic stuff, but they'll still let you know what pocket the emotion is sitting inside. And like I said, with this one, we have confusion and struggling to breathe, like anxiety, right? Drowning, the feeling of overwhelm, being overwhelmed, right? last two songs fucking dope like i said they use so many cool chords and shit octave chords aren't unusual ones but like i said they're a beautiful accent inside of a guitar riff they add this nice uh treble layer right it's a higher pitched chord with the uh, octave chords and they add this nice layer of high level sound inside of the jammy chug riffs it's a beautiful beautiful thing smashing pumpkins uses octave chords a fuck time if you learn any smashing pumpkins on guitar at any point you're immediately gonna have to learn how to play octave chords right man i love it about confusion and anxiety feeling overwhelmed saying there's only one person that can let the door swing right or open the door but <laughs> right up here at the top if you dial it backwards it says you could have had to lock the door right but in this the door is 
allowed to swing by one person and they're saying to make up your mind right wanted to pretend he's dead didn't have to pretend man this could be about like if you want to be metaphorical like an inner demon right you could be talking about an inner demon that made you feel overwhelmed and stuff like that wanted to pretend he's dead didn't have to pretend right getting rid of that section that's messing with your mental essentially whatever that is for you this could be about a few things right very open in this one open to interpretation super cryptic i love the cryptic writing it leaves it very open for us to interpret it but i'm sure that there's a meaning that has been told at some point and you guys always let me know if there is so leave your comments and let me know that stuff if you know what this song is actually about if it's about a specific thing in the industry that they went through or something like that and it's just cryptically written you know so let me know that subscribe to silver chair original video in the description support all the artists we have on the channel it's what we do this for get the music out into the world discuss the lyrics jam out have a good time together like i said earlier it's a great way for everyone to wind down or begin their day whatever time it is where you're from so i appreciate you guys tuning in i'm because of coffee a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away but those apples Leave a like for me, comment, suggestion, subscribe up that way. Bang the notification bell for me. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for everything. Have a beautiful one. I love you. Peace.